Hey guys, what's up? Scottish Duck here once again. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing this game finally. Right. Now guys, this time, I don't give a shit. If I get ads in my videos, I don't give a shit. If I have to remove a certain part of a cutscene, I've put this off for way too long, right? I think I owe it to you guys to finally do this. So yeah, let's get onto this. Ratchet and Clank, a crack in time. I haven't asked enough times to do this anyway. Uh, right, I'll do. Right, let's go to new game. We're going on hardcore, of course, and we're still doing a no armor run. That's right, people. I'm that crazy. Um, what one day I want a save over? Well, that one's my main file. I'll save over this one. Right, it'll be good to finally get this off my back anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I already have the Insomniac Museum unlocked. I don't ask me to do videos on it, because I don't wanna. Anyway, cutscene! Have I ever told you about my son? Remarkable boy. Quite smart. He was born in a robot factory in the Solana galaxy. Ratchet Clank but 1. to be precise, he was created much farther away. My son's name is XJ0461, but the universe knows him as Clank. The Zoni are inquiring about our progress. Ah, how much longer must we pretend to be friends with those twits? Sire is not remember. You must fix. Yes, I'm fixing. I'm fixing. Stand by for sister board scan. Alright, let's see. Favorite colors green, favorite numbers 83 billion and 4.7. Blah, blah, blah. Access denied. Neural safeguard activated. No! No! Oh, locked out again! It's in here, Lawrence. Somewhere in this brain lies the key to the Orbis Chamber. No, Orbis Chamber. Your zoniness. If we could take but a peek at the chamber. No, Orbis Chamber. Chamber is for Sire only. Very well. Then I think it's time our partnership came to an end. Say hello to... Not the hypersonic brainwave scrambler. The hypersonic brainwave scrambler! Uh, you can always count on Ratchet and Clank to give you unnecessarily big words in their cutscenes. <laughs> Apologies, sir. I should have mentioned... The equipment is especially susceptible to sonic weaponry. Backup generator activated. He's awake! Stop him! Right, now it play! So yeah, it actually opens up clang. And we have an epic opening with the various shit. Yeah, just watch. Oh look, crates! I remember this. It's all coming back to me. Okay, some of you guys know... Crap, what was his name again? Aye, right, Sigmund, that's Lawrence, it, yeah. My bad. Now. Can you believe that that's Nolan North, what by the way? Doing here? You know, he's the guy that does oh, Nathan so Drake, um, saying, he does but Desmond right from Assassin's Creed, and he did the Prince from that one Prince of Persia game, and he has the exact same voice in all those games. I was actually quite surprised when I heard about... when I heard that he could do a voice other than that. Ah, yeah, we're doing the... 
control configuration thing. I don't know why Insomniac decided to do this. Good. Now, there's one more beneath you. Got it! You're recalibrated! Now, keep moving! I'll hold them off as long as I can! Breach detected in sector okay. six. Dispatching time cleaners. But yeah, I'm probably going to get into this quite a bit during the Let's Play, but I would say this is my second favourite Ratchet & Clank game, behind uh, Ratchet & Clank 3. The only thing that stops it from being the best is, uh, it's a, just a fraction bit too short, and a couple other things that I'll get into later. But yeah, it's like, I really would have liked it if they tamed, you know, the levels from Quest for Booty, and tamed the time they would have spent making those, and, uh, you know, put them into this game to make it like a two or three hours longer, you know, that would have been amazing. But as it stands, the game does seem a tiny bit too short. So this is the first uh, Ratchet & Clank game to have, you know, trophy support uh, with the PS3. I almost got a Platinum, there was only two more trophies I had yet to get. Um, I'm sure I'll let you guys know about those later in the Let's Play, but I didn't get around to platting this game, which is kind of always a bug, mate, to be honest. Because usually I do 100% every Ratchet game whenever they come out. Perja on us. We'll hear that too many times during this let's play. Annihilate. 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 You're pretty annoying. I'll annihilate you, you funny. I know I'm doing this to focus on Dr. Nefarious there, but I really like Clank's texture uh, Texture in this game, you know, he looks really... He looks more metallic than he ever has. It's very nice. A lot of people said the game doesn't look really that much better than, uh, you know, Tools of Destruction. I disagree. But I do kind of admit, when it came out, it wasn't really as a... It wasn't really as a... Oh, awesome looking as a... When uh, Tools of Destruction came out, I don't know, maybe maybe we just got used to better looking graphics on PS3, I don't know. I don't know, I remember reading an article about, um, I remember reading an article on it, uh, I think they actually made a big deal out of this, about uh, the frame rate in this game, you know, because it is a uh, 60 frames per second, but they had to sacrifice a lot of the visual, uh, yeah, that was Sigmund in there. They had to sacrifice a lot of the uh, texture and a bunch of other visual uh, variety so as so that they could keep up the 60 frames per second. But I don't know, I think they were overreacting, because I mean, sure a game like Uncharted and Killzone looks super realistic, but that's because it's got a standard to uphold, you know? Whereas Ratchet & Clank is uh, highly stylized, and really, how high do you need the textures and how high do you need the polygon count to be in a game that's basically just a cartoon? Okay. So I think that's kind of silly. I don't know, that's just me. As far as I'm concerned, this is a perfect looking game. You know, I, I couldn't imagine it looking any better without going, you know, over the top and whatnot. Dr. Nefarious 
Lawrence. I should have known you were behind this. Where have you taken me? You don't recognize it? This is your home! The Great Clock! A marvel of science and sorcery, engineered by the brightest Sony in all of existence, and constructed in the exact center of the universe! Give or take 50 feet. I am curious. What lie did you tell the Zoni in your quest for vengeance? Vengeance? You think I went to all this trouble for mere vengeance? They say I'm egomaniacal. Let's just say it's all in the past. What's Lance! egomaniacal mean? Right here, sir. I don't Ready know. the orb of gratuitous immobilization. I'm sure I'm gonna get like 50 coins for that now. Shall I prepare the mnemonic station again? No. I have a better idea. But, sir... Patience, Lawrence. We have all the time in the universe. Here go all the Sony running away.